Here we have Andre Marie Ampere. This video is set in 1826. Andre Marie Ampere is currently discovering his famous Ampere's law. When I ran currents through these parallel wires and the current ran in the opposite direction, the wires repelled each other. Andre shall continue to study the forces between the wires to eventually discover a fundamental law of electromagnetism that we now know as Ampere's law. Ahaha. Uh -huh. I shall call it Ampere's law. We know that that when a current runs through a wire it generates a magnetic field. When one look at one wire with a current running through it, a magnetic field will circle the wire. I realize that the stronger the current running through the wire the stronger the magnetic field will be. Now when I run current through both wires in the same direction they attract at each other. But when I run the current in the opposite direction they repel each other. This is where the red hand rule comes in and helps us see exactly what he's talking about. According to the right hand rule it tells us if we point our thumb in the direction of the current. Our fingers will represent the direction of the magnetic field when we coil our fingers. Let's try it with an example. Let's say we have a vertical wire with a current running straight up. What would the direction of the magnetic field be? Pause and take a second to discuss. If you said counterclockwise you are correct. Now let me tell you a little bit more about Ampere's law. Ampere's law also states that for any closed loop path, the sum of the length elements times the magnetic field. In the direction of the length is equal to the permeability times the electric current closed. Thank you for listening and learning about Ampere's law.